You're late. I've been waiting a long time for you. Now if you want to proceed, please sign your name there. It's a contract. Don't worry. All it says is that you'll accept full responsibility for your actions. You know, the usual stuff. Alright everyone and welcome to set one of Let's Play Persona 3 FES or Festival as it's known outside of um, outside of the US. And I think outside of everywhere else besides Japan. Besides the point. Okay, before we get into naming the character, I'm gonna explain a few things. Uh, basically it's gonna be on what the Shimagami Tensei series is, the features that are in that are between FES and uh, the original version, as well as um, what this let's play is gonna be basically geared towards. So, if you'd like to skip all that, when you see me inputting the name, just skip for a few uh, a minute or two. And if you see the name being inputted, that's where we start. Anywho, and if I remember to, I'll probably put a uh, skip here to get to the explanation, past the explanation thing. <clears throat> okay, let's start off with what this game is. This is a part of the Shin Megami Tensei series, which translates roughly into the true uh, Gaius Reincarnation, or True Gaius Resurrection, depending on, um, translation issues. Anyway, um, the series is 
relatively old. Um, it usually revolves around a group of high school kids being being um, drawn into a paranormal event. The first one um, I've only played the the very beginning of, which um, was about four kids playing a game and they got sucked into a alternate universe type something. Really hard to explain. But this was the first game that was done in 3D uh, from that series. Ironically enough, this was also the first game I played of the Shin Megami Tensei series, and at first I hated it. I'll get to that in a few seconds. But the Shin Megami Tensei series itself is not a singular game, it is a franchise of games. Um, try to think of a good comparison. It's... Eh, I can't really think of a good comparison now that I think about it. I guess it's kind of like the Dot Hack series, where the first set of games is solely dedicated to one character, and the second uh, trilogy is dedicated to another character. Kind of like that, but not really. Basically, there are multiple uh, franchises in the Shin Megami Tensei uh, series. There's Devil Summoner, Digital Devil, uh, Persona, and I think one more I can't remember off the top of my head. But they all revolve around the same set of creatures. Uh, this game, Persona, is based off of more psychological aspects of uh, people, which I really enjoy because I love psychology. Um, we'll get into more about Persona as the game progresses. Anywho, um, this game itself is a remake of the original Persona 3. Basically, originally Persona 3 came out and it was a huge hit, so much so that the, the Atlas decided, hey, let's remake it. It's similar to uh, Kingdom Hearts and Kino Kingdom Hearts Final Mix in that regard. Um, when they re-released it, they added a whole bunch of new features to it and a whole bunch of unique shit. So it's really cool. So I'm going to go through the list of what was added into the uh, remake. So, in FES, a bunch of new Persona was added into the game. Uh, you also can view uh, secret videos of your doormates. Um, later on, we'll find a dog named Kotomaru, who we can take for walks. Um, there have been modified social links, uh, new quests have been added, costumes, a new event happens with a uh, character we meet later on, but I don't want to spoil it. Uh, there was a complete overhaul with Naganaki Shrine. Uh, hard mode was added, and you can transfer over your Persona 3 save file into this game. Now what that means is, let's say um, you beat the game, you have a save file in case you want to do a new game plus. If you have that save file on your memory card though, you can transfer that file into this game. So you'll be starting with all of your um, persona, your money, your items, all that fun stuff. But you, all you have to do is uh, experience the new stuff as it progresses, which is kind of cool. Unfortunately, though, if you have the PSN version, which I do, it doesn't really work because the original Persona 3 was not, is not available on the PSN. So there's no transfer files, although it still has the notification that if you want to transfer it or not. So it's kind of cool that way. Um, there was another re-release of the game relatively recently called P3P. This is Persona 3 Portable. It is a remake of a remake on the PSP. Um, I was originally going to do a Let's Play on that, but I lost my PSP, and I still have yet to figure out a good way to record on, off of my Vita. So, unfortunately, we can't do that. That being said, this guide will not work for Persona 3 or Persona 3 Portable. This is due to the fact that both of the social links and those and the social links in all three games are different. So I'm sorry you can't use the, that version for this one. If you have a PS3, go ahead and buy it on the PSN. It's only $9.99. Relatively cheap considering how great this game is. However, I will go over what P3P adds. The first and biggest thing they add was gender. You can choose the gender of your main character, and it does actually affect your personality as well as how people perceive you. It actually changes the entire thing, which is pretty cool. Um, the male character is also only limited to one-handed swords, while the female character is only able to use spears. In this game and in the original, the main character can equip every weapon in the game with the exception of guns and daggers. So, kind of annoying. Uh, new skills were added, a skilled card system was added, which basically means you'll be able to get cards from Persona as well as drops that have a spell to it in which you can teach to any Persona. It makes Persona customization very easy. 
Um, a new difficulty was added, which is Proud Mode, I believe, which is a lot harder than uh, the hard mode in this game. A complete map overhaul was added. It's now more visual novel-esque, where you only have the 3D avatar exploration when you're in dungeons. And the answer section of the game from FES was removed. It's an FES exclusive. Um, F uh, the answer is a epilogue that you can play. I may do it, but it will be after I do Persona 4. So keep that in mind, and I apologize for that. Um, On to this, this guide itself. This guide is going to be a max social link playthrough. Now what that means is, throughout the course of the game, you will meet people. And they will actually give us um, a social link. Basically our personal tie with that individual. And as we spend more time with them, we will also be gaining uh, higher social link levels. If you master that social link, you're able to create a very powerful persona of the arcana that is associated to that person. Uh, basically, each social link is tied to a tarot card arcana, fool, magician, hero font, etc, etc, etc. And you're able to create personas based off of these arcana. Pretty cool that way. However, if you're able to beat the game, or get, if you're able to get a max social link playthrough, you can unlock a very special, unique persona dedicated, or that is basically an accumulation of all these uh, social links. So, that's what we're going for. That being said, this guide is very, very detailed in the point where every, every day is planned out. There is very little deviation you can do from it. Um, in the description of this video, there will be a um, list of Monday through Saturday, or Monday through Sunday. And they will basically be telling you what you need to do every night of the week. This is so we can max out our courage, academics, and charm as quickly as humanly possible. Keep in mind also, a lot of this require a lot of yen, so save up your money unless you absolutely need to buy something. Uh, that something has was usually going to be tied into a social link or something along those lines. So keep that in mind. Um, also, I want to say... Okay. This series, this game itself, also has a lot of mythological references. Um, <laughs> a lot of the, the entire Shin Megami Tensei series has that. But, due to my obsession, borderline fetish, with mythology... There will be points in time where I will stop and actually give you a breakdown of this character from mythology, just because of how much I love it. So keep that in mind. I will go. I will go geeky on you. And also, due to my obsession, borderline fetish with Japanese culture, I will also be using Japanese suffixes and Japanese um, uh, ways of talking. For example, um, there's a character in the game, Mitsuru Kirijo. Uh, her family name is Kirijo. So I will be referring to her as Kirijo, Kirijo Senpai, uh, because she is higher up. So, basically, for those who are curious, San is basically equivalent to Mr. It's a catch-all suffix. Uh, Kun and Chan are um, friendly phrases for people you've known for a while. They're you, they are technically interchangeable between genders, but Kun is more, more often used for men, and Chan mostly often used for women. Sama is a very high form of respect, and Senpai is a person who has been in a position higher than you. For example, a third year would call fourth year Senpai at school. Uh, fun fact, Kohai is the opposite, but we don't have to worry about that. Um, I think that's about it for that. So... <laughs> Gods. I will explain it quickly again, by the way. Um, originally, I didn't like this game because of the fact that it has a visual novel stylized to it when you're actually playing the game. And a lot of the cutscenes themselves are in 2D. The, the big cutscenes, at least. Um, or in uh, anime style. And I thought that was kind of stupid. I always thought games should be 3D. Boy, was I wrong. Keep in mind that this is when I was a lot younger. <laughs> now it's my favorite game in the world. Anywho. Let's get into the game itself. We're going to call ourselves, based off last name, Ma Ko To Yuki. Uh, for those that don't know, there is a Persona 3 movie out, which covers the entire, or two movies technically, that cover the entire series. 
and Makoto Yuki is the default name they gave to the protagonist of that game. There's also Minato Arisato, and uh, another one, but I can't remember what it was. So, yeah. Anywho, um, let's get to it. Also, before I go on, I forgot this. <clears throat> there are three modes to this game, normal, easy, and hard, that is if you're playing FES. I am playing on easy mode. I'll explain why right now. This is a guide for social links. You will not see me exploring the dungeon because it is not pertinent to the social links. There will be times I say, go to Tartarus, which is the dungeon we're going to. Um, go there, get to this point in the dungeon as much as you can. Make sure you have these persona, uh, persona of these arcana with you. And now I'll leave it up to you for that. Now you'll probably get tired, and you'll probably get sick, we'll get into that later. I'll teach you ways on how to fix that. But, you will not see me in the dungeon itself. I will, however, record boss fights uh, when I get to them, so you guys can have strategies on how to beat the bosses. Now since I am playing on easy mode, I will have 10 Dusks of the Plume, which give me um, retries, or um, continues. But if you're playing in a harder difficulty, you will not have access to those. Uh, normal, I believe, has five, and hard has none. And enemies are stronger as you go higher. <clears throat> um, so because of this, you'll only see boss fight videos that I'll upload probably at the end of each month. Um, maybe, we'll see. Um, each set is going to be dedicated to a month, so some sets will be longer than others. Others will be short, depending on, on the storyline events. Keep this in mind while watching this guide. Also... This is a long fucking game. The tutorial itself is two hours long. I've recorded this three times. Trust me, I know. So, that being the case, if you're just here for if you're here for the battles and exploring the dungeon, I apologize. I only have boss videos up. This is dedicated to those who want a max social link. That being said, let's get to it. No one can escape time. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears and cover your eyes. And so it begins. Who's there? Wait! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hey! Huh? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. Well, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me.
this is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. Oh yeah, make sure you don't lose your key, or you'll never hear the end of it. So, any questions? What kid? What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're all right. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Okay? Mitsuru Sunpai asked me to take you to school. It's getting late, so... Are you ready to go? Okay, then let's go. So, that's it. See? There it is. Welcome to Gekukan High School. Hope you like it. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later. Alright, so there's a reason why Yukari, uh, talking about Sun, sorry, is um, very apprehensive about the fact that we know she had a gun. That is because of the fact that, um, in this version of the game, the gun's a model, it's a toy, but it has a side effect, which we'll get into, which we'll find out about later on. In the original version, it's a straight up gun, it's an actual. Regular old pistol. Um, in the, in Japan, gun laws are very, very strict. Um, so she shouldn't have that at all. The only reason why she has that is due to her ties with uh, Kitajo Senpai. But that's besides the point. Um, so the fact that she has a gun, she doesn't want it spread around that she has it because it would draw unwanted attention and all that annoyances. Um, so, yeah. Kind of annoying. What do we have here? The for name. And well, if you hold down triangle, you can skip through dialogue pretty damn quickly. Uh, let's see here. If you want, you can go around examining things. Uh, you can find a lot of people that you are going to have social links with uh, while warning around. Not all of them, but some of them. Pretty much anyone that has a, um... Uh... Character pop up like with uh, Takebatsan and Kirijo Senpai, you'll actually have a social with them later on. With very few exceptions, I think. Uh, anyway, the main places you want to keep an eye out for are restrooms, because they'll help you get rid of uh, uh, fatigue and sicknesses, as well as the nurse's office. If you ever get sick, come here and you're able to get a boost to your courage, which is really freaking helpful. Um, other than that, we really won't be coming down this hallway very often, with the exception of examining this, so we can get, um, 
find out our test scores, and every, every so often we'll probably go into the fac faculty office. But besides the point, let's go talk to our teacher. Let's go! Oh, are you the new student? 11th grade, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. <laughs> wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. They sort of skirt around it for a while, but basically the main character's parents ha uh, died when he was young, so it's kind of annoying. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... Psst. Hey! You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. So how well do you know her? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. What's up, dude? How's it going? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? Hey, it's Yukatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, it looks like we're in the same homeroom. <laughs> Funny, huh? Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class, too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt! What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hey. You didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what? Did you? Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, all right? <laughs> what? L last night? Wait a minute! Don't get the wrong idea! Listen! I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Ah, uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man! <laughs> this is going to be a fun year. I can feel it. Hey, 
We made a friend! Woohoo! First day here, we already have a friend with Yori san. Decided to go home with Junpei. Er, Yori san. Toriyumi sensei. Alright. Some love struck girls back there. Sports team! Run! Sports ball! Gel Spring Sunlight is warm. Yay! I don't know. Sign sheet at the counter. That's how we save. So, welcome back. Thank you, uh, Kizujo Senpai. Okay, so I'm gonna explain real quickly about this. <clears throat> I highly advise, if you're playing along, to do a very specific save file uh, system. As you can see, I already have a save file from earlier on. But besides the point. I recommend having multiple save files for if you're playing along and try and do a max social link run through. My advice is to have the top save be your, um, I'm gonna save, I need to save, I haven't saved in a while, so I'm gonna save. So this is your everyday save, you just save whenever whenever you feel like it. Have the uh, second save slot, I'm gonna go back in a second. I need to do the save, I need to do two more saves. Have the uh, second save slot here be your um, weekly save. So every week you save. Um, I'm actually going to use this as a secondary save in between sets, so I'm going to leave that alone. Um, and have your third save be your monthly save. This way, you have your day-by-day -day save, so you're able to save, and if you fuck up, if you fuck up during the day, you can just go, oops, I messed up, reload. Um, then if you really mess up, you have the third save... If you, have, if you really messed up, you have the secondary save, you know, I messed up and saved over, I, don't have, I can't go back a day, so I'll go back a week. And then if you really messed up, and you're like, oh crap, I really, really screwed up, you have your month save, so you can go back uh, and redo that entire month. So, yeah. Luckily though, we should be fine. Um, at the end of each set, if I'm able to do so, I should be able to, I'm going to have a video up um, that's basically going to be your monthly checklist. In it, it'll have the social links you should have, the social link number or social link level you should be at, the social links unlocked, and the charm academic and uh, charm academic and courage level you should be at. So that way you're able to keep track of everything. So that's pretty much how it's going to go. Um, this way you can keep track yourselves if you're playing along. So should be helpful. Let's get to it. If you get a chance to uh, use the restroom. Um, if you're tired, you have a chance of going to normal, you also have a chance of going into great. Um, very slim chance of going from, uh, tired to great, though. If you are sick, you have a chance of going back to, uh, normal, and so on and such forth. Basically, you'll need that at, at the highest point as pos as much as possible. Um, another side note, over here is a vending machine. We currently have a, a little bit of yen, but we're not going to be using it. Um, you do need, later on at least, 20 Cielo Mists and at least one Mad Bull. We won't be needing either of these for a while now, so we, we can just ignore it. But you will need that later on. Make sure you are able to save up for that, as well as all the other fun stuff. I'm going to go into the day-to-day uh, -day list later on. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Didn't you see the newspaper? There's a lot going on. I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? The chairman will be here for the next few days, but after that, I can... Don't worry, I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Well, kind of is. <laughs> next day, woohoo! FYI, the phases of the moon are very important. Keep track of them. Alright, before we go on, um, here you will learn about 
special little side events are happening, usually pertaining to backstory or stuff that are available to do after school. But I am going to go into the uh, weekly schedule now. Bear in mind, I'm only doing this for set one. Afterwards, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, I'm not going to remind you that much. If you need a, a reminder of what you need done, just feel free to check the description. Anywho, Monday to, Monday to Sunday, until we master our courage, we'll be doing this at night. Karaoke, on Mondays, then studying. Tuesday, Virtual Horror, which is a game, plus studying. Wednesday, Karaoke, studying. Friday, or Thursday, Karaoke, studying. Friday, Virtual Horror, horror and studying. Saturdays, we'll be drinking coffee, and then studying. And Sunday, we'll be Karaoke and studying. These will only be done at night. Daytime is going to be dedicated to um, uh, social links until we master all of these, so keep that in mind. If we need to visit the dungeon, uh, we do so on Saturdays. This is because uh, the coffee thing is to increase our charm, not our courage. That is just there as a um, uh, buffer, so we're able to do the studying at night thing. Anywho, uh, let's get to it. So we can, we can do the, the dungeon thing. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? No! Not that one. I mean the, sto the story about the first year student. Not only does she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. Her mom tries to talk to her, but she only mutters to herself. It's coming, it's coming. Huh, how about that? You don't believe me? Oh boy, that's always fun. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Ugh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubo... Utsubo... Kubut, uh, kub, ah, Kubota. Utsubo Kubota. He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring uh, Kubota's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who does say was my favorite author? Huh? Um. Who does she like? So basically, this we we have to get all the answers correct as well because they'll give us a boost to charm, academics, and stuff like that. So she said she liked Utsubo Kubota. That's right. So you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Yuki. You hear the classmates whispering. You could give him the answer. He must be he must pay attention in class. You become slightly more popular. Yeah, because that's what happens when you know stuff in class. You become popular. As the class has ended for the day, you decide to go back to the dorms. Yay! Wall duck burger, bookworms. Kitty. And some guy running. Shrimp ball is lively in the evening. Good to know. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. You must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the pun. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get used to his lame jokes. <laughs> 